This is 10 Reasons You Need a Guitar Lele. Hang on, you don't want to miss this. Hi, I'm Julie Starling and welcome to my channel. This is a guitar lele, also known as a guitar lele or a gilele, depending on which manufacturer makes it. First, I'll go through the 10 reasons you need one. Then I'm going to run through the specs on this particular instrument. And finally, I'll do some playing demos for you. The first reason is fun with three exclamation points. This thing is just fun to play. It's easy. And you just find yourself being very creative with it. So, so number one reason is it's fun. The second reason is size and portability. It's just really easy to take with you. You can stick it in a bag or you can just take it as is and you know it, it's easy to throw over your shoulders just carry in your hand i've taken it on several trips to the beach and i just as a passenger in the car i just had it in the front seat with me and be down on the floor or up and up when i was playing it and it was just fun it was fun and easy to take with me wherever i wanted to go third reason is it's tough as i said it spent a lot of time in the car it's been on several trips i've taken it around uh, with me to different places it's just and held up. Oh, there's very little, few nicks or anything on it. It's just a very tough little thing. Fourth reason is great tone. With this thicker body, it just gives a really nice acoustic tone. That's really enjoyable to listen to and just really gives a nice feedback when you're playing it. The fifth reason is it is the perfect crossover instrument. Whether you're coming from a uke background or a guitar background, all of your chord shapes and scales transfer right onto it just as is. Number six, if you're a uke player, you can easily add some lower notes. So, you know, you can play whatever you want and then you may be able to add an open string or just change a, a finger and get some of those lower notes that you may have been craving. Number seven is you can retune it and create a baritone uke in the middle strings. So if you change this third string, which is usually a C, and tune it down to a B, then these three notes, D, G, B, E, is the same notes that you would play if you were going to play a baritone uke. So you can easily on the fly get those baritone uke sounds all in one instrument. Number eight is if you're a guitar player, the notes on this instrument are just like capoing at the fifth fret on the guitar. A, D, G, C, E, A. So you can think it relative to that. That means also that at the seventh fret, it's the same as the 12th fret of the guitar, which I found really useful for soloing. Number nine, as a guitar player, you can either think of this from the U point of view or as a guitar point of view. Sometimes I play and I'm thinking about what the actual notes are I'm playing uh, as if I was playing in this higher tuning, but other times I just play as if I'm playing on the guitar and I just think of the notes as if I'm playing the guitar. It just sounds higher. It's a fourth higher. That's all. And number 10 on this particular uke is an acoustic electric, so you can plug it in. I'll demo that at the end. Okay, and so I'm going to put those 10 reasons up in a quick chart so you can review it. And now I'm going to go through the specs on this particular instrument. So this is a Kala Guitar Lele K-A-G-L Koa E. It has six strings. It is tenor scale with it from here to here being 17 inches. It has Koa back and sides and a solid spruce top. It has a mahogany net, a rosewood fingerboard, mahogany binding, Grover tuners, Aquila Super Nylagette strings, and it's equipped with this UK 300T preamp, which has a two band EQ and a volume control, and also has a built-in tuner, which is really handy and works really well. So 
So this particular uke um, I bought several years ago doesn't seem to be in production, though you might be able to find some used models on Reverb or other places. Uh, the current model is the mahogany version. It's the KAGL without electronics. It's $199. Uh, which I found both at Sweetwater and Guitar Center. Uh, but if you want uh, the electronic version, the K-A-G-L-E, uh, then it's $259 with free shipping to the lower 48 states f straight from Kala. That's a pretty good deal. And no one's paying me for this uh, video. I just like, the, like this instrument and I wanted to talk about it. This is not my first guitar lily. I did originally have a Yamaha Gilele, six-string Gilele, but the strings were too close together. It was better for strumming and it was better for kids. And so I eventually did sell it to uh, one of my clients uh, for, for one of their kids to play on. My best advice uh, when shopping for a guitar lately uh, is to try out a bunch. And the one that wants to go home with you, like this one did, that's the one you buy. Okay, and now I'm going to do some playing demos for you. Okay, so first I'm going to play the Hooky Lao song the way that a uke player would play it. Oh, we're going to a Hooky Lao. Hooky, 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 Hooky Lao. Everybody loves a Hooky Lao. The Lala is the Kako at the Big Luau. The Hornets come to the sea, and all the Yama Yama come swimming to me. what you can do by adding in the lower two strings. So instead of playing the C chord this way, we can take what is called the, uh, the G form in the guitar and, and make it that way. Or we could make the rock G. Here's the G7. Well, we now have this D. We can add that in easily. easily. this C form, we can play this form. Oh, but you know what? At that point, I might as well play the whole bar chord. And now we have an A7, which would be here on the uke, but oh, that's like a E7 on the guitar. We throw our nets into the C. Here's our D7, which is like an A7 on the guitar, so I'm going to play this version. play this version. Ooky la. Ooky, ooky, ooky. So here's an A7 to a G7 to a C. Hopefully you got the idea. Okay, so up next I have a Fly Me to the Moon. It's a tab version that I got at one of the ukulele jams. And what I've done is underneath I've written in a couple of extra numbers to add in the fifth and sixth strings where appropriate. So first I'm going to play it like a U play with the top four strings. I'm going to add in the fifth and sixth strings. get that into your ear. I'm going to play this now as, I, as if I'm a guitar player, just reading a chart and just, you know, not worrying that I'm really playing a, up a fourth. And I'm still, um, fly me to the moon. Grabbed a pick 
and I'm going to demo a scale. This Roland Cube Street EX that I got recently, and you see it has three channels. We'll be using this first channel. You see that it's uh, the instrument is selected instead of the mic, and got a little bit of reason. I want to mention that I'm using this Diodario uh, cable that has a built in. Kill switch which just really makes it easier for changing instruments in and out when you're playing. Okay, so I'm now plugged into the first channel of the Roland Cube Street EX. And this, this is the channel that has a choice between mic and instrument. So it says instrument and I have just a touch of reverb on. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please drop those in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, please check out my other videos on the channel, especially this video right here. Thank you so much. Take care.